and welcome to Travel Adventures with Eric B. I'm Eric B. We're going to explore the French Quarter for a little bit. We're going to catch the New Orleans Pelicans play-in tournament game against the Oklahoma City Thunder. And I'm going to go to the Hotel Monteleon famous carousel bar to try my first ever Sazerac, the official drink of New Orleans. Welcome to Travel Adventures with Eric B. I'm Eric B. If you're new here, I offer travel advice. I'm a solo traveler and I do vlogs to help you travel better and more efficiently. But New Orleans itself has some of the most unique buildings you're going to find anywhere in the U.S. Definitely reminds me a lot of a European flair. I know for the middle of April right now, it is really windy and really chilly for New Orleans. I would expect it to be a lot warmer on a day like today, but it's not. Graffiti definitely reminds me of Europe a lot. Pink Mobile right there a lot in coming to New Orleans, but every time I see it, it's worth a photo op. right here. moved slowly but it definitely moved when I walked in that mirror right there was on the opposite side now I'm right at the mirror it's probably been like 10 minutes though the stage area where they have their acts whenever they do the acts and they have a another bar on this end pretty cool hotel definitely gonna do a vlog here sometime in the future dining area right over there too it's also really really nice Indeed, this is a really nice hotel. Like I said, look, definitely going to do a vlog here sometime in the future. I'm going to have to stay here. But as far as the Sazerac is concerned, it's definitely not my choice in drinks. I did it for the vlog. I mean, I'm more of a vodka and, and tequila type guy, so that was definitely not necessarily my kind of drink. It was okay. If, I mean, for what it was, definitely not something I'm going to look to go buy in the future at all. I had to try it because the Sazerac is the official drink of New Orleans. They made it the official drink back in 2008, so I had to try it out. Let me know in the comment section if you've uh, had the Sazerac before, you like it or you don't like it, or, or whatever the case may be. Not really my cup of tea. Any heavy tourist city, CVS, Walgreens, uh, Dwayne Reed, if you're in New York, always your good friend, always. Brennan's a big time steakhouse here. Never been there. Big time. It's Legend Parks and Cafe Beignet. You've seen it so many times in my vlogs. Can't do it today. I'm not eating beignets or anything like that before Europe, so I'm trying to be good with that diet. It's in the home of the huge ass beer. Some huge ass beers. How about that? My friends, there's a huge ass beer. Huge ass beer. Yes, you guessed it. Need I say more? Antoine's restaurant. I heard about it on the Traveling Gilberts from Ronnie Gilbert. Couldn't figure out where it is, so 
This is Antoine's, and no, I haven't been there yet. Not yet. <laughs> New Orleans says, I call New Orleans the city of music because you're going to hear music anywhere you go in New Orleans. Blues, jazz, literally like everywhere. New Orleans is the city of music. I to get to my car or I might get booted. And I definitely don't want to get booted. That's happened before. It's not a good feeling. So the plan here is to head to Manning's Restaurant. Now, those of you who don't know who the Mannings are, the Mannings are a famous football family out of New Orleans. There's Archie Manning, who was a Saints legend, his son Eli and Peyton Manning, who both won Super Bowls. And then there's Cooper Manning, who was really good but suffered injuries and didn't make it to the next level. And then now there's his son, uh, Arch Manning, who's actually going to the University of Texas. So they have a big restaurant. They have a big following. Like I said, they're from New Orleans. So the plan was to go here to Manning's restaurant, but it's not going to happen because as you can see, Manning's restaurant is actually closed. I looked up the times. It closes on three days out of the week. It's only open Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, and this is a Wednesday night I'm here. Manning's is not open. So we'll have to get Manning's in on another vlog. No Manning's today. So now we're going to head to the basketball game. Let's go see the Pelicans. Go Pels! This building's called the Smoothie King Center, so of course there's multiple Smoothie Kings here. I think what I was saying when my mic was turned off is that lots of food options here. It was a fun environment, obviously, as I said earlier, it's the play-in tournament. Pelicans needing to win two games to get into the NBA playoffs. This is a new thing started a few years ago, and right there I'm talking about my shirt that I got. We all got shirts on our chairs. One NOLA! So, it was, yeah, it was a lot of fun.
is over every time I've gone a playoff game here with the Pelicans they won but not this time streak comes to an end so sad so right here my microphone volume dies again so that's all folks I hope you enjoyed this video if you did I ask that you please hit the like please hit the subscribe button please hit the bell notification so you can know when I have more material coming out and as always remember live today Grow today, tomorrow's never guaranteed. Peace. And that guy right next to me, he said something about not going to work tomorrow because Zion Williamson decided not to come to work and didn't play hurt. So peace again. And basketball. Lots and lots of basketball. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please hit the like, share, subscribe button. Leave any comments below. I love to interact and help us to continue to grow as a travel community.